We call it the Summer of Records, Goodwood over in the UK. We brought the 21C there. We ran the car up the hill and we broke the all time hill climb record for our production cars. We then took the car from the UK, landed in Texas, um, took it to Austin at the Circuit of the Americas. Just had a couple hours of track time, but set the production car record there as well. About two weeks later, we then drove the car up to Monterey. Again, hot day, not ideal conditions, ran the car, set the all time production car record with the 21C. You ask, what, what does it really show? What does it tell about the brand? I'd say one, it shows that we love competition and we love the track. And then seeing those records is validation that this technology has an end impact in performance and performance is ultimately what matters most. There is now a digital machine that we've invented and created that fully digitally designs something, prints that something, and then assembles that something. From an environmental standpoint, we're using the absolute minimum amount of material and energy to create in three dimensions that structure. In turn, if you've used the minimum energy and material, you'll have a much more efficient product, right? When it's actually operated, it will use the minimum of energy, either fuel or electricity, to power and operate it. And finally, all of these materials, the aluminums and other materials that we generate with machine learning, are designed so that they're fully closed loop recyclable, meaning at the end of the given life of something, you can take it return it back to a printable powder and reprint it as another structure. We started as a manufacturing technology company in a software business and we knew that we wanted to create Zinger vehicles which would represent that technology in action, in product, and we'd want to control that product, do it our way. But we also knew this is a technology that should affect the mass market vehicles eventually, should affect cross industry as well, from aerospace through automotive to industrial design. So very early on, what we aimed to do was build a platform, a design software, a manufacturing platform, largely 3D printing or additive, and a universal assembly platform that we could then have many, many customers on and essentially democratize the access to that technology system and drive change into all those cars, into all those planes, into all of those complex structures. And over the next 10 years, you'll see it go from just this upper echelon of luxury performance automakers all the way into the city cars that the masses drive. And that's where you're gonna see the scale impact of what Zinger and Divergent are. Technology at scale, changing the dollars, changing the environmental picture of the biggest industry in the world today.